Hello friends and welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back if you're back. If you are new, hi, my name's Rabbit and my pronouns are they, them. And um, today's video is kind of a little odd, but basically I went to Edmonton last week, which is a city a couple of hours away from me. I didn't quite get enough footage to vlog it per se, but I did get like pictures and videos and like little kind of things like that. So I figured I'd do a little like get ready with me for like with this look um, while I talk about kind of all the stuff that I did and like insert little clips and pictures and videos and stuff wherever it would make sense. But yeah, if you're interested in kind of like a half vlog, half get ready with me, half just talking about stuff I did last week, um, then please keep on watching because um, I had a really fun time and I'm excited to share. With that, let's get to it. <laughs> the last time I went to Edmonton, I was 12 and it was with my best friend. It was their birthday and I remember there was this really cool goth shop called Millennium in West Edmonton Mall, which is like the big major mall there. And it kind of like blew my little 12 year old mind. So I hadn't visited Edmonton since I was 12, but I remember having like a good time when I was there. And then Cage, which is my boyfriend, uh, got invited to do a guest spot of tattooing down there. Um, and he asked me if I wanted to come along. So like while he would tattoo during the day, I would just get to kind of hang out. And we just had like a little five day kind of work vacation for him and then vacation for me so it was super super fun so we drove down on Tuesday and there was a ton of rain like the entire drive down which was kind of scary at one point I was driving behind this like truck that had these boxes like strapped to it and then the boxes are like bouncing on top of the truck and I was like that looks like it's gonna fall off and then it just did it like flipped off the road and like almost hit but it would totally okay um, but really scary close call I was expecting it to rain a lot of the time that we were there so I had brought like a bunch of like long velvet dresses and like warm sweaters and like umbrellas and all this stuff it didn't rain at all <laughs> it was super nice the whole time which was great but I am a fan of the rain so it was nice to get at least a little bit of that so our first day we just got to the place we were staying and watched Buffy and like made vegan mac and cheese and it was just like super cute and fun and I had a wonderful time Cage and I are re-watching well, re-watching for me, watching for the first time for him, Buffy, and we're on my favorite season, which is season five, because it has Glory, and I love her. And um, yeah, it's just like super, super cool. Then on Wednesday, Cage went to work, and I got to explore all the kind of like parks in the town that we were staying in. So I went to, I think it was called Queensland Park, and it was so, so beautiful. You know how lots of times if you're like walking in a park and there's like a lot of trees around, there will sometimes be like little off paths that you can like kind of wander into. I wandered into a bunch of those and so many of them led to like really pretty meadows and just like places where the grass was really long and hadn't been mowed in a really long time. Tons of butterflies and like bees buzzing everywhere. And it was just like my little summer fantasy it was so, so, so cute and just like super, super fun. Sorry, I'm looking at my list to remind myself of like what I did on every day. And then I walked around White Avenue, which is close to where we were staying and it was super super cute there was like just a ton of stuff to do there are lots of like vegan friendly places for me and a couple of alternative stores that I'm gonna talk about and like insert little pictures of but it was just like super cute I like got a lay of the land and for lunch I went to the sushi place and had like the fanciest sushi experience of my life they like brought out my little avocado rolls and yam rolls with a thing of dry ice and it was just like smoke curling everywhere and I was like the only person in the restaurant and I felt like a wizard. It was so cool and I was like filming it. The lady was like, oh, you're gonna film it? I was like, yeah, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. So tourist stuff like that gets me every time. I love it. It was so, so, so cool. Also the sushi was really good. If you get a chance to check out, I forget the name, but I'll like put it here. If you're in Edmonton, check it out delicious and the smoke thing and then after Cage got off work we went to this place called the Mutt Art Conservatory I'm like totally saying it wrong I don't know the proper um, pronunciation but yeah this conservatory that was like indoors and had all these like massive pyramid domes that were like made of glass but each dome had a different climate in it so there was a temperate climate kind of like more of a rainforest situation and a desert one my favorite I mean, the tropical one was really, really cool. There was a corpse flower in there, which was amazing. If you don't know about those, basically um, these flowers, they're called that because they smell like rotting flesh when they're in bloom because they're trying to like attract predators to them. I, d I don't know if they're carnivorous or what. I need to maybe do a little research before I talk too much more about them. But either way, super, super cool. Um, and then just like all the leaves and the flowers, it was 
it literally felt like we were in some kind of fairyland, like absolutely wonderful. And I, I don't know if they were having like some kind of event or something, but there were so many fancy ladies in like silk cocktail dresses walking around like sipping wine and like most, most of them were like older, like in their 50s or 60s. And I was just like, this makes me so excited to be older and be like a fancy person, like sipping wine at a concert. Like, are you kidding? That's life goals. They know where it's at. Um, the Mud Art Conservatory was super, super cool. Cage helped take a bunch of videos um, of it there. So you'll probably be seeing some of those, uh, but it was just like wonderfully, wonderfully made. Um, then we hung out in their little like cafe area and tried to play some good board games for a while, but all the board games were very confusing. There were only two of us and most of them needed like more than two players. So we just kind of like walked around and it was like a nice cute time. So if you can check it out, check out that place it was amazing and then on thursday i got to go to west edmonton mall so basically cage was at work during the day but we have this problem not really a problem it's just, it's just a fact of our relationship that i love rides and theme parks and spinny things and things that go up and down and all these kind of situations and cage has really bad vertigo so we can't enjoy those things together unfortunately um ferris wheel sure um walking around the amusement park eating cotton candy okay but he can't join me on the spinny wheels or the maybe the roller coaster is okay i'll have to check but either way the problem is that I never want to like go on theme park dates with him because it would just be sad for him to like stand like it would just kind of feel like you're going with a parent. So I decided to on my day off go to West Edmonton Mall and go to the amusement park there because it's um, called Galaxyland and I think it's Canada's largest indoor amusement park which is a lot of fun and I basically just had the bestest time ever. I got to ride as many rides as I wanted and it felt like just capturing a part of like joyfulness and childhood spirit that I like had not experienced in a while. Like the first ride that I went on was this, uh, I think it was called Twister or Sorry or something. Like it was named after a board game. The ride would spin around and you were like in a little seat that could spin back and forth with like a little joystick. <laughs> And I it like, I don't know, I, I just, I guess I haven't been spun in a circle like that um, since being an adult, you know, for, I don't know, 10 years or something. So I don't know, it like unleashed something and like I was just like spinning and like laughing and I was like, oh my god, like this is so freaking fun. Like, uh, it was delightful and I had a really, really fun time. And then the roller coaster was super scary. I hadn't been in a, on a roller coaster for like quite a while. Um, and I forgot like the anxiety and like excitement of when it's like slowly creeping up and it's like like you know it's like clicking and you're like oh, like why did I do this to myself and it's like you're just going around it was just like so so freaking cool I might have looked like a little weird in like layers of like black lacy tank top with like a giant cross on it like all my patch jacket and this and that like going on these rides and just giggling like a child but it was so fun and it was just like really cool to allow myself just really like not care about anything and just like have a day to just experience joyfulness and I don't know it was just like a really really special experience and I was super super lucky to have that and yeah because ever since I've been with Cage I don't really like take myself on solo dates a lot because I would just rather go on a date with him uh, but it's important I guess sometimes to just be like I'm gonna do this thing that is purely fun for me because I know my partner won't enjoy it but I will have an amazing time um, and then it's just like yeah, I don't know, very rejuvenating and super, super fun. So I had an amazing time with that. I took a selfie with the with the little Galaxyland mascot called Cosmo and there was this one ride. You went underground kind of and you sat in like a little spinny space, uh, what is it called? Spaceship kind of themed chair. Um, and all around there were like little alien things and you had a little laser gun and you could like point and like shoot at all the little like lasers that they had on the wall. And then it would make the aliens like their head fall off or like their tongue comes out or like, you know, when you, point the laser and get it. It was very, very exciting. I had a lot of fun on that one. Plus in the mall, they had a bunch of kind of like spooky and alternative and like antique -y kind of stores. There was one store that had a bunch of dragons and fairies and like all of those kind of like cheesy statues, which are my absolute favorite. Like fairy statues, like sexy goth fairy statues have such a special place in my heart and they're always like $125, but just like getting to look at them and be like, wow, you're so pretty, was just a really, really special part of my day. Same with, same with seeing like all of the armor statues and the dragons and like all that kind of thing and the best part about it was that they were all kind of clustered like all the spooky antique 
gothy stores were all like clustered in one little corner of the mall so it was just super easy. There was one store called Rain that was like all punky and gothy kind of stuff and they had this whole wall of shoes that were all just the most wild and incredible shoes that I've only seen that kind of thing online before. Um, just all based on different like franchises and all insert like clips and pictures and stuff. Um, but it was just wild to see these shoes that looked more like sculptures than shoes, just like super, super inspirational. And I love going to like gothy stores like that not for like buying stuff necessarily, but just for being able to look around and get inspiration because a lot of that stuff is to me like DIYable or like doable in some sort of way. So being able to like just be in a store full of like inspiration stuff, even if you're not gonna buy any of it was like super, super cool. But then I did go to this one place that was sort of like antique and flea markety and they had a whole spot in the back that was like a little horror museum and all of it was filled with tiny dioramas from like famous old horror movies. They had like a Frankenstein and a Bride of Frankenstein section. They had Phantom of the Opera. They had, God, I forget because there were so many, but I'll insert a clip. They had uh, The Creature from the Black Lagoon, like Dracula, every classic that you can think of. They had one of those and um, just entire like little dioramas incredibly made, um, like this big were each diorama so you could just like fit so many in the room and like see all of the cool ones. Um, they had this one little stall that was incredible. It was all spooky haunted doll themes. So all of these like little porcelain creepy baby dolls and stuff hanging on the wall, Chucky, Annabelle, um, all that stuff. Plus the best part, sorry, I forgot to mention this, but the best part of this like little spooky like mini museum, it was just kind of one room in the back of the store, um, but they had like a little basket at the front that was filled with Bibles and like the sign that was like, take one of these to protect you like against the evil spirits. Like, you know, it was very, very cute. Um, they had like the creepy clown or the creepy doll room and they had a creepy clown stall right next to that. And then behind that, they had a tarot room. No tarot reader was in, but I got to just like look at all the beautiful ambiance they set up with all of these like vintage medicine packagings and like a big green velvet curtain with like fairy lights and this gorgeous chair just like everything was so so beautiful and well done and um, I did buy something there I'll show at the end um, all my purchases that I got in West Ed but I got something really 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 cool at that store that I'm really excited to show you so if you're interested in that <laughs> wait till the end there was also yeah the fairy store the gothy store the antique store I think those were my favorites in that little corner uh, but there was also a really cute Japanese store that had all sorts of Sanrio stuff like my melody and Karomi and all of that and then I went to Spencer's and Hot Topic which I never do in my hometown even though I'm pretty sure we have a Spencer's we definitely have a Hot Topic I don't know if we have a Spencer's but I got to visit those um, and that was super super cute and fun for me because I don't know I felt like old teenager again and I even got like this shirt at Hot Topic which I never buy stuff from Hot Topic mostly I was excited to be in there to like get inspiration for stuff. Specifically, I saw this one pair of earrings that I'm like, I am going to DIY them. They're like these little spooky bears, like teddy bear earrings, but they're like black teddy bears with like all stitches and stuff. They're very, very cute. And I'm going to make a pair myself because you know, it's doable. So yeah, I got to go to Hot Topic, got to go to Spencer's and just like look at all the alternative people in there and be like, hello, I am among my people. <laughs> you know, it's always fun to get that experience. And yeah, so that was my West Ed day, going to the Galaxy Land, going to all the spooky stores, wandering around. I got myself coffee, just had myself a little cute date. And yeah, it's been forever since I went on like a shopping spree at the mall. It was um, enjoyable though I will probably ideally not be participating in that again anytime soon because like DIY is where it's at, but I don't know, weird little treat for myself was, was kind of fun. So that was my Thursday. And then on Friday, during the day, I went to the local comic book store, which was absolutely amazing, breathtaking, delightful. I loved it. They had a whole Buffy section, like they had Angel and Faith, they had Buffy, they had um, like, the Lost Summer, they had the Vampire Slayer, they had Spike, like they had everything. Um, they had, whatchamacallit, a Neil Gaiman section with like all the Sandman stuff and like all the other little projects. They had a Jim Henson section, like the Labyrinth and the Dark Crystal and like all of that. It was just delightful, wonderful. All the staff were super, super nice to me. And I got a bunch of Vampire Slayer comics there, which I've just been devouring through um, since I got home. And it's been amazing. I also went to the cat cafe in Edmonton. And it's so cool because I also work at a cat cafe, but obviously not the one there. Um, so I got to visit them and see how they did things. And it was amazing. Basically, you paid a flat fee to go in for an hour and get as many drinks as you want. I got two drinks. I got an oat milk 
vanilla latte and like a peach green tea lemonade and both of them were so so good and they had all these cats there some of them were adoptable and some of them were resident cats they were all super super sweet and I just got to like sit in there and do like a little bit of editing and like drink my nice drinks and in the bathrooms there were like all these like graffitis of like everyone drawing like their cats and their little characters and their little you know names and like so and so is here and like so and so loves so and so like it was just so cute I love those kind of things um, so that was really really fun I also visited this store called Goth Unite Goths Unite? I think it was Goth Unite, which I was like, that's kind of interesting. But either way, super, super cool. They had like dragons on their logo. So I was like, I have to check this out. Um, and it was super awesome. It was a huge, enormous, ridiculously large store with the biggest shoe selection on the planet. Like I was dying. Um, I don't need any more shoes and all of my shoes I try to get secondhand because they're really pricey generally because like gothy boots tend to be kind of pricey. But it was just incredible to go there to like chat with the staff and be like, oh my gosh, like oh, I'm from like a couple hours away and like, oh, this store is so cool. Like we don't really have anything like this where I'm from. But like, ah. Um, so that was super, super fun. They had like loads and loads of stuff and I ended up making one purchase there of like a really beautiful skirt that I can't wait to show you guys because it was just like, ooh. And yeah, the staff was super, super nice. They had sort of like local made stuff. They had like big brand name stuff. They had so much space there. Just really, really exciting. Um, and then Cage and I went to this ravine called Mill Creek Ravine. Did a little bit of geocaching there because I'm always looking to geocache on our times out together. And then for dinner, we went to this vegan place called the Moth Cafe. And I died. It was so good. Everything on the menu was vegan. I got vegan tiramisu for dinner. Um, Cage got banana cream pie. I don't like bananas in desserts, but he loved it. We got vegan pancakes with like a bunch of coconut whipped cream and like strawberries and blackberries and blueberries and strawberry syrup and like all this delicious stuff. It was a whole thing, um, but it was really, really nice. There were all these beautiful like plants like crawling all over the ceiling. So it was really, really cute. Cause also like Cage and I generally don't really go out to eat. We'll either like order in or just cook ourselves or if we like go out to eat it's more like in the picnic capacity but it was really fun to have like a restaurant date because i don't really have those but it was like oh my god i feel like such an adult because it's like yeah you are an adult you're 25 but <laughs> um it was just yeah it's like a thing that i only see in movies and like never really did myself that much so it was really cute to be like we're gonna go to the restaurant and like have a little restaurant day like oh so cute and fun so that was friday then on saturday i did more exploring of the local alternative stores in the city so i went to this one called lewis mayhem which was so freaking cool they had so much like interesting handmade stuff they had like a load of patches i got this really really cool patch that i'm excited to show you guys the staff was amazing they had these really cool handmade candles they had like bleach painted skulls on like sure really interesting uh fabric design printed on stuff um i'll link everyone's like website and stuff below so you can like hopefully check it out and shop online if any of this is interesting to you uh but it was just like really really inspiring to be there and be like oh my god like this jacket with the bat wings like i could like maybe do something of this kind of you know it was just like really great to as usual get inspiration get ideas just feed that creative energy you know i also went to this place called mars and venus which there's a there's also a mars and venus in vancouver i don't know if it's like the same kind of company but either way amazing they had much more of like kind of a vintage rockabilly sort of aesthetic um with like lots of those like dresses that are like in the 1950s kind of uh this neckline and then like the dior skirt like you know what i mean it's like a lot of those and a lot of again really beautiful handmade stuff like resin charms and interesting earrings and um i got this really cool pin that i can't wait to show you guys and a set of napkins that is like all vintage and halloween and amazing but yeah really really cool that was also a huge store and the lady was telling me that in october they get all sorts of halloween displays up that's all like vintage halloween which if you've been watching my channel and seen my like halloween decor videos you know that that's my favorite halloween aesthetic is like this super cutesy spooky vintage halloween so i feel like i need to go back down to edmonton in october and see that again uh, or like visit that store again when all their vintage halloween stuff is out or at least check out their website because my goodness very very exciting things there and also i didn't get to go to any music shows but there is a surprising amount of like alternative music venues and like bars and stuff um i was writing all of them down and a bunch of them did have shows but cage was just like you know let's like stay in which totally understandable he was like kind of on a work trip um but there was one called the aviary one called rendezvous pub and one called black bar and they all have like alternative music shows so if you are in edmonton or if you're visiting check out those because they seemed amazing <laughs> and they had like some really cool sounding musical acts coming up so that was really really cool to know just to see that like 
there is such a thriving scene down there in Canada, so fun times. And then on Sunday, which was yesterday, it was our last day there, and it was one day that Cage didn't work, so we got to like kind of have the whole day together. We went to the Royal Alberta Museum, which had this incredible gemstone room. It had this really, really large natural history section with a bunch of like dinosaur bones and kind of paleolithic era kind of stuff. So I got to see like giant sloth skeleton and like, um, it's not the woolly mammoth, it's like similar to the woolly mammoth, but it's like bigger. Just got to see one of those. Um, got to see the saber tooth tiger uh, skeleton and like all these kind of things. So like that was super fun. They had a whole bug room that Cage and I were like kind of into because Cage collects bugs. So he's like, oh yeah, like I've seen this and like I have one of those and like blah, blah, blah. That was very interesting. And they also had like a human history section, which was also interesting. But our favorite part was definitely like the gemstone room and all the like animal stuff. They had a bunch of really well done taxidermy, which like always makes me kind of sad. I have complicated feelings around it. Anyway, kids really enjoyed getting to look around everywhere and I was happy to accompany. Um, and then after that, we went to two antique malls. They were pretty close to each other. They were both super, super fun. I didn't get anything there, but Cage got a bunch of frames for his insect art and this big ceramic cat and this little ceramic lamb. And then at this other one, there was a bunch of patches, which was really cool, and a bunch of like old dolls and like these kind of things. And I met one of you guys, and that was really cool. I don't know if you're watching this now, um, but it was really cool to meet you, and you seemed really nice. So I hope you're doing well in Edmonton, wherever you are. The antique malls were fantastic, and and it was, it's always just like such a treat to get to wander around and sorry I haven't been doing my makeup like for any of this it's always like such a treat to get to wander around and look at all the different stalls and like see all these old just like looking at like little tins and cans and art supplies that you're like you're from the 1920s like you're from a hundred years ago that's wild that's wild it was really special I always have a lot of fun going places with Cage because he's always interested in going to like the antique malls and I'm always interested in going to like kind of the alternative places and we always get to kind of indulge in each other's stuff. It was just really really fantastic. And then on the way home it rained the whole time as well. Not the whole time actually, it only rained a little bit. But we got to drive home and pick up the cats because Cage's mom was looking after them and that was really nice. Oh my gosh, did I not do this step? I did not do this step. I got all stressed out about the fact that I'm not doing my makeup like I should be. But yeah, we went on home and it was really, really nice. My highlights were definitely um, getting to see all the interesting alternative people and kind of stores that they had going on down there. And like, it would be fun to check out their music venues as well if I go down there again. But it was just like kind of really special to feel that community a little bit. The Cat Cafe was amazing. It was so cute and fun. And getting to go on like the roller coaster and feel that sense of like, Childhood joy was really special. Uh-oh, something died. Overall, it was just a really, really fun time and I'm like so happy that we got to spend a little bit of time there. I know Cage had a really nice time guest spotting at the tattoo shop. And then the other thing that was fun was that Cage got to play Dungeons and Dragons with the people at the tattoo shop. Like one of them hired a dungeon master, like a professional dungeon master to like lead them in a game of D&D &D, and it was Alien versus Predator and I didn't go down for it, like I got invited but I was like, I feel a little embarrassed to like do a teach, like a tabletop role playing game that I haven't played in forever with like people that I don't really know so like have fun but I, I might just sit with this one out so I just kind of hung out at home but that was cool and I'm like glad that he had a nice time during that. I definitely need to trim my bangs, they are getting way too long and wash my hair. I'm gonna like take a shower after this because why is this being such a mess? So yeah, Cage had a really fun time. I think the D&D &D was a lot of fun for him. Um, I had a fun time just, you know, taking myself on little day dates and, and trying to work a little bit on videos that I had filmed at home and then just like editing those and stuff. And yeah, I know he wants to go back in September, I think. I don't know if I'll come for that um, because I don't know if I can take off work again so close together, but it's okay. Just going down there the one time was really, really fun, and I think that if he goes down there again uh, by himself, it'll be a really good time for him too. Um, or not by himself, because I think he'd go with his tattoo bestie. But it's really good to be home. I'm really excited to get more filming done, to get more editing and like try to get like back on the YouTube horse a little bit because I feel like 
I was quite burnt out and the cure to burnout is like a bit of a break in getting reinvigorated and I just feel very reinvigorated. I feel like I had time off that I, I really liked and got a lot of inspiration, had a lot of fun and uh, yeah, I was super, super lucky to be able to do that. <laughs> and it was like kind of hard because I was feeling a lot of like guilt while I was down there for being like, oh my God, like I should be doing this or like I haven't been doing that or like I need to work more on this or that. But just being like, you know what? Life is short. I don't want to spend all of it like stressing out about like the projects that I need to do um, when it's not I need to do them. It's like supposed to be for fun. So it was really cool to just get to connect to a sense of fun again and be like, screw it. I am going to be a little bit irresponsible for five days and just walk around and go to amusement parks and look at interesting alternative clothing. And yeah, it was just absolutely amazing. I feel super, super lucky to have been able to do it. And I hope that if you are also feeling stressed out or burnt out or any of these kind of things, you can take care of yourself in whatever way makes sense. I think this was Cage and I's first like little trip away together that wasn't like a camping trip and that was just like alone. Cause I know that last year we went to Kelowna, but that was like with friends. So um, yeah, it was really cool to be like, yeah, let's stay at an Airbnb together and like, be in a little town and like you'll go do work and I'll just like go hang out so yeah super super fun and I feel incredibly lucky to have done it and now it's time to show all the exciting delightful items that I purchased while I was down there so um if you're interested in that part then let's get to it so first I got a bunch of earrings I got these all at Spencer's which I know I'm terrible but I couldn't resist okay these ones have fairies on them they're like silver hoops with fairies and they are absolutely delightful. I adore them. I think they're really, really cute. They remind me of this one necklace that I had that broke, um, but it's like of a lady straddling the moon and it's kind of in this similar style. So yes, very, very beautiful fairy hoop earrings. I also got these earrings <laughs> that are of those little like vintage cat clocks. I love these clocks. Um, I remember Cage got one for his sister last year, but I see them online and stuff and I think they're really, really cute. And it would be fun to use like a tool or something to make it so the tail can move, like put it on a little hinge on the back or something. But for now, just really, really cute. And then I got this pair of earrings also, which is the sun and the moon tarot card. Sorry, they're clanging, but they're absolutely gorgeous. And my camera is overheating, so I will be right. Okay, sorry, I just put on lipstick really quick, but trust me, I didn't miss anything. I was doing something while my camera was cooling down. Um, so continuing with my acquisition, when I was at West Edmonton Mall, I got a little pack of Kuromi tape at the like very cute Japanese store. I think it was called Kawaii City or something like that. It was very, very sweet and I'm excited to use these. Also at the mall, I got a rib cage corset belt thing. Upside down, whoopsies. It goes like this. Um, very, very fun, and I did get it at Hot Topic, so um, total poser moment, but I thought it was really cool. And I remember that a while ago, like 10 years ago. I remember there were these like kind of corset belt things that had a skeleton kind of thing in the in like an oval situation on the waist and I've always been looking for something similar to that since. I'll try to insert a picture if I can find what I'm talking about uh, but I thought this was a really good little substitute while I wait and and hopefully one day actually find that. Then this is one of the most exciting things. <laughs> Okay, um, if you saw my like latest DIY video or my Buffy jacket video or basically any of my videos that I've been back since I took my break, you know that I am kind of have a new obsession and it's Buffy. Um, <laughs> I got a Buffy tarot deck. <laughs> I had seen this thing online and for the record, I like have been collecting tarot decks for like a couple years now, um, but this one is just like kind of fun for the novelty sake. But I've been seeing pictures of this online, um, like on Tumblr for like, I don't know, a while now. And I had just been um, salivating over it. It's absolutely beautiful. The artwork is incredible. I like spent a day once I got it, just like flipping through and it does not disappoint at all. The quality is incredible. The art style, amazing. Uh, just like so much inspiration and beauty here and um yeah tarot cards are also a thing that is like perfect for artistic inspiration in my experience it just gives a really oh my god perfect <laughs> the chariot with like cordelia's car amazing yeah it just this is wonderful both for like tarot fun purposes but also like inspiration purposes the art style is just incredible i think it might be by one of the artists that also illustrates the comic books. So yeah, just 
incredible. Ugh, Dark Willow, my favorite. Just, um, yeah, really, really special. And if you've seen the show, these are just extremely impactful, like with the with the cards, like what they are, and then the show. Yeah, it's just, uh, <laughs> it's very, very good. I love it. Okay, very, very pleased with this purchase. Because yeah, I'd seen it online and I really wanted to buy it, but the shipping kind of cost was holding me back a little bit. So being able to find it in a store. By the way, I got this in the kind of antique flea market store in the mall. I'll like put the name if I remember to look it up um, and can find it, but yeah, just, Incredible. I love it. My favorite purchase, I think, of the trip was definitely this. I, yeah, I can't believe I found it. Then at Mars and Venus, I got this amazing pin. I got it to put on my vampire jacket and it's the Creepsville Dracula pin. It says $14.95 on the back, but I swear they sold it to me for $12.95. So yeah, I don't know what happened there, but um, I love it. It's perfect. And I also got these napkins from Mars and Venus. Not to use as napkins, but to use as like collage bases and like to use in craft kind of purposes. So I'm really, really excited about these. I think they're incredible. This company is like doing reproductions of all their old vintage Halloween stuff the lady was telling me there. So I'm really excited to see more of this. Also, speaking of, not really, but kind of speaking of Hot Topic that I was talking about earlier, they're releasing Skull Animal plushes again. And also when I was there, they had a bunch of Emily the Strange stuff again. So I guess someone licensed those again because they're making stuff and it's amazing. Then at Goth Unite or Goths Unite or whatever that store was called, I got this skirt, which is like a bat wing skirt and it's mesh and it's beautiful. And yes, I was like, I could theoretically DIY something like this, but I just, it's its gorgeous and it's incredible. And I love being able to like support spooky businesses if I can. So I was like, you know what? It's gorgeous. I will take it. Um, plus everything was 20% off when I came in. So I got this and I was very, very, very pleased with it. I might have to tighten it a smidge cause it's just like a little bit big for me. And this was the smallest size they had, but it's gorgeous. And the original brand is, Necessary Evil, if you are looking for it. I think it's called the Persephone Bat Wings skirt. And it's gorgeous and I love it. And I'll insert a little clip of me wearing it if I remember. Oh, also this is Goth Unite business card. Hello, dragon, coffin, adore it. Then at Lewis Mayhem, I got this patch. So beautiful. I'm really, really excited to put this like on a sweater or a shirt or jacket or something. I love, love, love this bat-winged cat. I think the artist is Nat Jones. I have that business card here. I'll try to link it below. Um, then also I will put a little pictures of the skull candles, but this is their lovely business cards. And she was saying that um, if you follow her on Instagram, she does a draw to win um, her little candles. So check that out if you're interested. And then this is the little um, Lewis Mayhem business card, which is a lot of fun. QR code if anyone is interested in that. This was, yeah, really, really cool store. And I got these from there also. Eight bucks for 50 spikes. Yes, please, I will take it. Very, very happy with that. And then my purchases from the comic book store. Um, I'm just showing the first one because the other ones are in my bedroom right now. But I got a couple of the Vampire Slayer comics. I was originally looking for the Willow ones, but guess what this story is about? Spoiler alert, if you don't wanna know, but Willow, at least in the first, I'm only five in so far, but Willow's the slayer in this. No spoilers on how she gets there, but she is so cool. Look, look. Willow's one of my favorite characters, look. I know a lot of people hate her, but let me have her. Let me have this. <laughs> um, leather pants Willow being the slayer. Yeah, I died. She wears like black lipstick and has this like kind of very alternative edgy aesthetic. I adore her. Incredible. I am so excited about this. Um, it's just called The Vampire Slayer. The series is called. And yeah, I... I love it. I adore it. I was super, super happy. I also got The Lost Summer. I also got a couple more of these, but regardless, the other thing that I'm so, so, so excited that I got Hello, sorry about the glare. Neil Gaiman, Sandman. I've only ever read these online. And I, I like have a couple of, of the physical copies, but I don't have them at all in order. And this is like the first ones in order. So now instead of just like reading them online, I have a physical copy. I can't believe I found this at the comic book store. I think, yeah, it was $26. So worth it. Beautiful color, wonderfully printed. I'm so excited to reread these because I haven't read them since high school, college. 
since years, for sure. So I'm very, very excited for that. And that is, concludes my little Edmonton video of all my, my purchases and my adventures and hopefully my little vlog footage. I hope this was kind of fun for you to watch. <laughs> hopefully it wasn't too boring. If you are in Edmonton or visiting there, I hope you get to maybe experience some of the fun things or tell me more about fun things to do there for next time that I visit. Um, I, I would love to know since obviously I'm just a little tourist <laughs> to, your, to your lovely city. But it was a super fun time and um, yeah, felt so, so lucky to go. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you so much for watching, especially till the end. That always means a lot to me. I hope you have a great rest of your day or night or whatever it happens to be that you are watching. Take care of yourself. Give yourself a big hug from me and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!